So in this video, I, um, <clears throat> I'm just welding the top side. In my last video, I flipped this uh, trailer using that engine hoist. And in this video, I'm just going over all the welds that need to be made on the top side. Uh, it goes a lot faster than the bottom side, because the bottom side, I was putting the pieces in, measuring them, all that good stuff. This one, I'm just strictly welding. Um, now, you'll see I'm and what I'm doing. It looks like I'm tacking and tacking and tacking and tacking. Um, some of these, it's square tubing, right? Going in uh, rectangle tubing, going in a square tubing, and the edges are rounded. I've got that Lincoln welder. Uh, it's a MIG welder with uh, argon CO2. I've got it up at like the highest heat setting possible, and I think I had the wire speed at four and a half. Um, so <clears throat> I was I was running it hot. I wanted these welds to be really hot, and um, so the there's just too big of a gap. So when I'm tacking like that, when you see it arc 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 arc, um, it's because I'm actually like right here. Um, I'm just filling that hole in and then whenever I'm done I go over it and I actually give it a solid weld so it's almost like I make two passes at it um, I don't know if that's the standard way to do it but it seems to work out pretty well for me um, all the other welds on this thing are are good um, you know it's unpainted there's a few pieces that are primed there in the middle that I did have to grind some of the paint off to get it to to take but uh, the rest of this stuff, if it's unpainted, this welder works fantastic, and it, it puts down a nice bead. I'm a big fan of this Lincoln machine. If, uh, if you're a hobby welder, uh, or maybe just a little bit more than a hobby welder, getting a solid machine like this uh, really helps. Uh, you do a lot better when you've got a good quality machine versus it. My, my first welder, you can kind of see it back there in the back corner. It was a Harbor Freight stick welder. And it's not bad. I did a ton of welding with that thing before I finally said, you know what, I weld enough. I'm going to I'm gonna go buy a nice welder and see what it's like. And um, it was worth every penny. I, that stick welder, I've only turned on a couple times since owning this Lincoln. And it was only because I have super long leads on it and I needed to weld something up on a way up high. But, um, yeah, this, this Lincoln, it's, it's a good machine. It's a 240 volt. I think they sell them at Home Depot. It's a... Um, hardware, a box store special. It's probably six or seven hundred dollars. Um, and then I had to buy that tank separate. Um, so there you go. That was all the, uh, all the top side welds. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, uh, to see more time-lapse videos like it in the future. Thanks for watching.